Reggae is a government which is controlled by the Marlies and a lot of fucking dictators. They dictate who to get rich and famous. Okay, let's put Shaggy up there. Let's put Sean Paul up there. Let's break down Bushy Bantam. Let's break down Shabarangs. Hmm. Pure fucking racism. Racial fucking profile. Mm -hmm. You like my commentary? <laughs> At this fucking moment, the fundamentals of he come out. What you fucking did to me you now? All you motherfuckers out there are so fucking contagious. Mm -hmm. There will be a reprisal. A fucking uproar god this shit is a big fucking headache certain artists are afraid to work with e-commerce afraid like a motherfucker they read them on the street all kind of shit against e-commerce now the fans are waiting. Mm -hmm. This is like a stress fucking market at the moment. To look back at my financial gain. Mm -hmm. Back in 2000. Making six figures in America. In a four year period, the guy ripped me off 4.5 million fucking American dollars. I'm playing at the fucking Mandalay Bay. Now the best places in America. And these suck up motherfucker won't let me in. Because of my black skin. Mm hmm Don't talk to me. If you think I'm blood clot dumb. Cause I know when you're gonna blood clot come. Well investors are thinking about it. Are they gonna reinstate? Colin Kampernick, that's a footballer who kneel when them were when they were playing the national anthem. Yep, no Nike had the money commercial. Nike business boom to billions and billions, four percent. Mm -hmm. So it will become worse. And more worse by me, blood clot going forward. And the longer than the longer this shit takes, it's better for me. Cause I am fucking legend. All the financial consolation and the blood clot arising. <clears throat> other functions you see did i get any show in, in jamaica no promoter won't call because they call promoters she don't work with e-commerce you don't think that vp records or gary emo farm or all them white boys who control the blood clot reggae they'll call promoters in jamaica you know? Or even the fucking radio station. Because Jamaica and Jamaica, the laws are written in pencil. So no one concerned about e commerce with welfare. Kill the fucking nigga. Let's get him out of fucking reggae. Oh, can he mess with him all the family that the world love? But I tell you something. 
I have a friend of mine named Flampy. Gave me an interview for 40 minutes. One of Bob Marley's best fucking friend. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine that shit? Yep. I'm Brother George who made the fire light. Lago hood burning through the night. And we'll cook some Kami porridge. Junior gang, why the fuck you don't tell that to Jay Z or Nas? Now all the motherfucking rappers. Hmm? What you did to Brother George? Place him in a fucking old people home. With his with one of his legs cut off. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, motherfucker. Like a Pandora fucking box. Yes, 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 yes. I miss my children in America. But I gotta stay focused on my blood clot career. Gotta stay focused. Watching all these low cost, play no cost, poor cost who try to provoke us and vote us out. Junior Blood Clark Gang, I love you. You're gonna wake up, little boy, and smell the coffee. Can you imagine that shit? Why did the market some weed tea? I said Bob Marley, marijuana tea. Bob Marley never drink coffee. Hmm? Pimping the man fucking name. Mm -hmm. Bob Marley was here in the flesh. You think you got time? You want to be DJ or singer? You go to blood clot school. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not fucking up. Are you going to put my name, my head, on an action block? Mm -hmm. What if Donald Trump decide to invest in the reggae? What the fuck? This world would be, huh? Well, Ziggy Marley went to the White House and took a picture with a, a photo with um, Obama. Would it be nice to see Mr. Donald Trump say, Come on, you mouse. You're my nigga. <laughs> Come on to the White House. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I was back in my teens and early 20s, I was a pretty motherfucker. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yep. But things are great right now. But I'm broke. I got a song entitled Fucking Old and Broke. Yeah, we just record a song in Western Union. Ooh, well, I got some um, painkiller, liquid rubbing on my feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 but I still got a long time interest in the reggae business. You see, they're so fucked up, you know. They, Dennis Brown was buried. At the National Heroes Park. He's a fucking musical national hero. It's like he come out. Why the fuck they didn't bury Bob Marley? At the National Blood Clot Hero Circle. For the world come visit. And visit great men like Marcus Garvey. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Paul Bogle. Yes. National Heroes Park. Peter Marley got dumb. Bob Marley had a fucking box. Some fucking way. Look at the dots. This jigsaw blood clot puzzle. Well, Saturday morning. College football going on. Big game today. 
Penn State and Ohio University. I don't want my children to play ball. No. They play maths, mathematics, science, and physics. <laughs> Oh, this year is really, this year is really overblown. So I hope I achieve this UK visa, which hopefully they will. September 28th, yesterday I got a concert cancelled. Today cancelling, Sunday cancel. But the Queen of England love you come out, you know. Did you know I got a song called Elizabeth? Straight from England, beautiful city London. Turn on a man broke in on the Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, that motherfucker tried to rape the Queen. She just called the Royal Guard. I love her. Why the fuck should I hate the Queen now? Our Prince Charles. Motherfucker. You see, maybe your ancestors fucked up, but that's how it is. You know? Long little queen. You think Prince Charles is gonna sit on that fucking throne? Fuck no. Queen is smart. Mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. But anyway, I'm getting fucking bored. What about the American economic growth? You think Donald Trump's putting shit together? Ah, it's gonna be a great picture. Did you know that they deported many people, the most people, or the most black people, under the Obama regime? Well, this world was built on politics. Yep, 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 yep. You know what? Eat some breakfast. Bang, ding, ding, motherfucker.